So here's something a little bit breaking. It is official now. I know there's been a lot of speculation, but it was made official last night in Detroit, Michigan. Rashida Tlaib has endorsed Bernie Sanders. Let's see what she has to say about it. Check it out. Here we go. All right. I think I'm a Bernie when he saw just not myself, but my other sisters in service being attacked by this president, this bully. For him, there was no hesitation. He jumped on board and said, what can I do to uplift you all? What can I do to support you all? The fact that he truly believes that women like us, women that this institution hasn't been ready for, that we feel supported. And uh, from day one, he's always made us feel like that. I am endorsing Amal Bernie Sanders because he's not gonna sell us out. He understands that it's not just about policies and about words, but it's gonna be also about completely transforming the structures in place that is hurting American people. For me, representing the third poorest congressional district in the country, he is in many ways pushing back against this really painful oppression. It's been incredibly inspiring to see his unwavering uh, support for the same ideals that I have about people over profits. He is speaking about that mother that is- Quick shout out. Got a Simon and Garfunkel LP in the background there. Quick shout out, Simon and Garfunkel LP. All right, let's watch the rest of it. It's tired of walking by blighted homes, tired of having to send their child to a school that doesn't have clean drinking water, or fighting just for the right to literacy right now that's happening in Michigan. I mean, there's something incredibly inspiring about someone that we know is not gonna sell us out, that's not going to bow down to these structures that are so built on racism, built on uh, choosing those that are wealthy, that he's consistent uh, in saying that he's with us first. He will always choose us first. My family has never ever really come together on a lot of political issues, honestly, after the passing of my father. But I'm a Bernie seems to be able to unite us. Uh, all right. So there you have it. She's officially endorsed him. Now, I don't, was that, I don't know, was that in Bernie's office or in hers? I mean, there was a lot of Bernie stuff, which maybe that was Bernie's office. I've actually been to Bernie's office before in D.C., uh, but I don't remember everything that was in it. But I was in Bernie's office in D.C. for the Convergence Conference when we went to uh, give deliver the petitions uh, for Bernie to start a new political party. Uh, Bernie was not there today to receive the petitions, unfortunately. But we did show up. We did deliver them. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. So maybe the Simon and Garfunkel album's Bernie's. Maybe it's just like, Mrs. Robinson is a metaphor for everybody needing health care. But anyway, so Rashida Tlaib officially endorsed Bernie Sanders, which uh, now Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has uh, and Ilan oh Omar has and Rashida Tlaib has. So they got almost all the squad has endorsed Bernie Sanders. And it, it became official with this video. And last night at a rally in Detroit, uh, where I believe Jack White also jammed out at that rally as well. Um, and Detroit's a big one. Keep in mind, Michigan went for Bernie in the primary by a lot. Like, like Bernie was very popular in Michigan. I actually got to see Bernie. That was the first time I saw Bernie was in Michigan. It was in a town called Traverse City, Michigan. And uh, I think I told this story before, but uh, I was on the road. This was, uh, you know, this was back in uh, 2015 or it might've been 2016 at that point. But yeah, I think it might've been 2016 at that point, early in 2016. But uh, this was back before I lived in Los Angeles when I was still on the road uh, living in my car. And I had a show in a town called Traverse City, Michigan. And we did morning radio that day. Um, there was a morning radio spot that I did. And it was kind of funny because the DJ was announcing events and he was announcing all this like stuff that was going on. And I was like kind of vaguely paying attention because I wasn't on mic at that point. And then he goes, and of course, Bernie Sanders is in town today. And I was just like, whoa, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, man, Bernie Sanders is in town. I'm going to show up in a Trump mask. Then I'm going to go to a Trump event in a Bernie mask, which I think that guy did. Uh, you know, whatever. It was uh, it was uh, radio entertainment, if you will. And uh, so I, I got to go see Bernie Sanders. And it was packed. It was an auditorium packed with people. 
And it was a really powerful, powerful event. And I think that Michigan's huge because keep in mind, Bernie Sanders won it in the primary, but uh, Hillary did not win it in the general. Michigan was one of the states she lost that she totally should have won, that no, Demo no Democrat should ever lose Michigan, but she did. Um, so, so I think Michigan's big and I think Bernie knows it. So that's cool that not only was it a big event, uh, Jack White was there. He came up from Tennessee to his old stomping ground of Detroit, Michigan. Uh, Jack White knows how to keep it cool in the middle, man. He's from Detroit, the Motor City, great rock and roll town. He lives in Nashville, Tennessee, great music town. I have a lot of love for both. Lived in one of them at one point, lived in Nashville for a few years. Got a lot of love for both those cities. So, uh, you know, I think it's cool that Jack White holds down the fort out there. And, uh, and that's awesome that he did a Bernie event too. So Rashida Tlaib officially endorsed Bernie Sanders. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your 